Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and this is my October wrap up. That's right. October, I didn't manage to film any videos, and I got to the end and realized no, yeah, I didn't talk about my reading at all. A side note to that. Before this video has come out, you have probably seen my trilogy review for Starlight Shadow. And so I'm only going to briefly talk about those three books right now, since I have a longer review video. But I did read all three of the books in October. I first read Capture the Sun, which is book three, which then made me go back and read the other two. First one being Hunt the Shadows, and second one being Eclipse the Moon. All three are by Jesse Mihalik, and these are sci-fi romance. So there's a sci-fi story going on throughout all three books that is interconnected, but each book follows a different romantic pairing. I did finish all three of those books, and I'm going to send you to my trilogy review if you want more information. But otherwise... This is going to be a manga review because everything else I read in October is manga. Again, I promise I am not turning into a manga channel. Just a couple times a year, I like to read a lot of manga, and yeah. When we get to November, you will see that my manga has definitely dropped off. I promise. So, I read in October, uh, So Cute It Hurts, volume number four. This is the a series where we have twins who switch places um, the boy go dresses up as a girl and goes to his sister's school, and the girl dresses up as a boy and goes to a all boys school, and then they fall in love with each other's classmates. So, that is, this is their story of getting together with the person that they love. Um, and then I read volumes five, six, and seven of Hori Mia. This is following two teenagers, Hori and Miyamura, who are in class together. At first, they don't know each other very well. Miyamura is known as being gloomy, and Hori is known as being really beautiful and popular. And then they meet outside of school, and it's reversed, kind of, their looks. And then they realize how they present at school isn't really who they are. They get to know one each other, and they fall in love. And the, the series is navigating their relationship, and I really enjoy it because it seems a very plausible style where you have you know, family and friends interacting, and you're just trying to figure out going from we're friends to we like each other to let's try this relationship out, how and how are we going to navigate different daily things. I enjoy it a lot. I then read... Ottoman volume one and this is about um, a young man who likes girly things But has been told he must like masculine things. So he does very masculine sports and Very is very academic, but still secretly likes girly things He falls in love with the girl who has declared she only likes masculine boys. So He's trying to let her know that he likes her and they've made another friend who is secretly a shoujo manga writer who is basing his female character off of the male who likes feminine things. It's interesting. It's kind of convoluted. I don't know if I'm going to continue with this series or not, but it was, yeah, it was interesting. And then I read Spy X Family Volume 5. This is about... A couple different characters. We have Twilight who is a spy and his for his current mission he had to get a wife and a child so he adopted a little girl from the orphanage named Anya who is a telepath and he doesn't know this so she knows he's a spy and then he convinces a woman to marry him for like service reasons. She thinks that Anya is his daughter. She doesn't know that Anya was adopted um, and then she is using Twilight, who goes by Lloyd, and Anya so that she can look respect, so that she can look respectable, no, that, that, so she can look 
respectable in her society and not weird by being a single woman of a certain age. And she is secretly an assassin. So we have all, and again, the telepath knows all of this. So we just have these kind of kooky characters who are coming together and creating their own found family. And it's just very sweet and fun, especially with the hijinks. So I'm enjoying this series. And then that was my October wrap up. I guess because I have already done my trilogy review, there's not a whole lot to talk about. And all the manga that I've read, I'm further along in the series. Not a whole lot to talk about, but that is what I read in October. And if you want to know my November TBR, I don't have one except for I do have a buddy read at the end of November with Maya from Bookworm Dreams, and we are going to be reading Goodbye to the Sun by Jonathan Nevers. And then this is a book that fulfills our Lala's buzzword, buzzword-a-thon, sorry, brain slow. And we both had chosen this, so we're like, ah, let's just buddy read it together. And we're doing this at the end of November because uh, from the 15th of October to the 15th of November, she is doing Croatian sci-fi, which I think is very cool. I'm looking forward to those videos so I can learn of more sci-fi writers from other countries. Whether or not I can read them yet, that's another story. I still want to know about them. That is the only thing I have planned to read in November. November is also NaNoWriMo, I typically try to write, and it is also election month, so we will find out how I did. Yes. All right. Have a great day. <laughs>